If you want to know about health and have health concerns, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified about all upcoming videos. Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome back. Today we are going to discuss about indigestion. Indigestion is dyspepsia. Why it happens, what causes it, how you can treat it and how it is actually different from bloating, gastritis and other types of like heartburns and other things. So there is a very big confusion about what differences these things have but today we will clear all these doubts. So what is indigestion? Indigestion is a mild discomfort which you feel in the upper belly or abdomen, upper part of abdomen and it, it occurs during or right after eating. After eating it may feel like there is some heat or burning or pain uh, in the area between the navel or, and the lower part of your breastbone right between this area. It can be an unpleasant fullness also it can start too soon after you finish a meal or you begin a meal or even if it can happen after you finish your food also. <laughs> Bloating and nausea are very less common symptoms of this problem indigestion and indigestion is not the same thing as heartburn heartburn is totally different heartburn is totally different causes it is the burning sensation which you feel in your food pipe where your food actually comes up the acid actually comes up and burns your uh, esophagus the food pipe that causes heartburn and <clears throat> that is different the heartburn is most commonly seen in GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease. So indigestion, what causes indigestion? Number one, see most of the time indigestion is not a sign of a very serious health problem unless and until it is accompanied with some other symptom. Like if you have indigestion with a lot of weight loss, with a lot, with any kind of bleeding or you have trouble swallowing things, then only it can be uh, a problem. That means it can have serious uh, uh, serious causes or even if you have a um, sometimes rarely also sometimes heart attacks can also be mistaken for indigestion. So why does indigestion happen? What triggers indigestion? See indigestion is caused by drinking too much alcohol. <clears throat> if you eat very spicy or fatty or greasy food, if you eat too much overeating basically or if you eat too fast very fast eating if you have any kind of stress or nervousness indigestion can happen eating very high fiber foods and in a lot of quantity can cause indigestion sometimes remember that's a side effect of high fiber diet smoking tobacco can lead to indigestion and drinking too many caffeinated beverages tea coffee colas etc etc can cause indigestion other reasons of indigestion can be gallstones. If you have gallstones, if you have gastritis, actually gastritis is a different thing as compared to indigestion. Gastritis means uh, that your stomach lining has become inflamed or swollen because of irritation, right? That gastritis can lead to indigestion, but these are two different things. So gastritis can lead to indigestion, but indigestion does not lead to gastritis. Uh, and then swelling of the pancreas, pancreatitis can lead to indigestion. Uh, stomach ulcers, which is an ulcer on the stomach lining or intestinal lining, or these in intestinal ulcers can also lead to indigestion, as well as use of medicines such as antibiotics, aspirin, and over-the-counter painkillers, right, NSAIDs. These can also lead to indigestion. So overall indigestion is just a feeling of discomfort in the upper abdomen, right? And it can lead to a lot of, uh, it may feel like burning pain, etc, etc, like I said in the initial part. So what can you do? How can you actually take care of indigestion? Here are some home remedies which are very, very effective if you use it very, uh, you know, on time. Right. So the first and most biggest point here is changing the way you eat actually helps you. Changing the way uh, how you can eat, how you can change. Number one is allow enough time for your meals. Take the time you have to actually 
to eat don't eat in a rush don't eat very uh, fast chew your food second point is to chew the food properly carefully and completely properly carefully completely chew your food nicely avoid any uh, you know talking or arguments during meals because obviously talking is not a problem but an arguments you will not have any uh, you know uh, concentration on your food and you might end up eating fast or eating you know poorly you might not chew your food then <clears throat> avoid any excitement or any exercise right after meal right right after meal you should not exercise if you have indigestion for that matter doing your normal routine work is not a problem <clears throat> okay but exercising right after meal is not recommended for this particular problem if you have this problem then if you have uh, indigestion which is caused by stress then obviously you should relax and get rest for that uh, particular thing and if you take rest if you follow these five six golden rules your indigestion will get control over a week or so one week or two obviously you have to stop taking antacids or sorry uh, your NSAIDs painkillers if you are taking them if you are actually if you have to take them then you take them in a on a full stomach when your stomach is full right if you are taking antacids or uh, as your aspirin or painkiller that thing and you can take antacids right tygene or any kind of antacid to relieve your indigestion and uh, medicines which you can take without even pre any prescription include those ranitidines omeprazoles pentoprazoles and other prazoles you can take them or even digene or mucane gel these can be taken right then uh, you can also be given prescription medicines for at a higher dose for a long period of time by med by your doctors so when should you go to a doctor should you go to a doctor yes you should if you have indigestion uh, or symptoms which change very noticeably and very frequently then symptoms if you have uh, more than a few days lasting for more than a few days with or without unexpected with unexpected weight loss if you have unexpected weight loss if you have sudden and severe abdominal pain if you have any trouble uh, swallowing if you have yellow color of your skin and eyes basically jaundice right then if you have <clears throat> any kind of blood in your vomit or in your stools then you have to go and get checked for liver problems heart problems and uh, esophageal cancers etc etc so that's very important how things are checked ultrasound is done basic ultrasound blood tests are done and sometimes an upper gi endoscopy is done to check your esophagus that's how we come to know what is going on what problem is going on what is the what is the issue and then depending upon the cause the treatment will be done by your doctor the best doctor for this purpose this this problem is gastroenterologist so that's all about indigestion dyspepsia or that uncomfortable fullness which happens after eating this is dr paramjeet you're watching doctor education make sure to share this video and let everybody know what is the right information thank you so much stay connected stay healthy